Good cop, bad cop. Bad cop. Cleveland cop who fatally shot 12-year-old had been deemed unfit by previous employer. Timothy Lohman, the Cleveland police officer who shot dead a 12-year-old boy last month, was described by his former employer as immature, emotionally unstable, and unsuited to police work. The Independence Ohio Police Force, whom Lohman worked for in 2012, filed a scathing review of Lohman's job performance. But incredibly, Cleveland police never saw that report, as it is not required to look into an applicant's background. A letter penned by a superior contained in his personnel file described Lohman as distracted and weepy at the shooting range, where his handgun performance was dismal. The letter also specifically states that the young officer once had an emotional breakdown while on duty over a breakup with an on-again, off-again girlfriend. The letter lists a series of infractions, which included leaving his gun unsecured in his locker overnight, lying about leaving the dispatch center without permission, and taking off a bulletproof vest he was told to wear to get used to because he felt, quote, too warm. Deputy Chief Jim Pollock concluded in his memo that Lohman should be released, writing, quote, I do not believe time nor training will be able to change or correct the deficiencies. Lohman was eventually forced from the job on December 4th, 2012. He was subsequently hired by the Cleveland Police Department in March this year. 12-year-old Tamir Rice was spotted pointing what appeared to be a gun at a person near Cleveland Park on November 22nd. The gun turned out to be an airsoft replica. Responding to a 911 call, Lohman and his partner arrived at the scene. Rice was shot dead by Lohman within seconds. Lohman is currently under investigation. Extra action, extra insanity, extra perversion, extra mayhem. Tomanews.net.